Hi everyone, I am back with the last Mickey and Minnie Joyfold card for the series of 2015. So this is the Christmas one, which will be the final card. Um, new one in 2016 coming up, all that fun stuff. So um, yeah, we'll be showing you guys that one in a few weeks. So, yay! Um, let's go ahead and get started putting this card together. I've pre-cut everything again. And um, these are the papers I'm using from the little stack this time. Minus that little white sheet right there. Yeah. So, these are the patterns that I chose. I have put the pad away, so I'm not going to pull it out. Um, so, this one just has some, some flourish and... Uh, snowflakes on it with some pretty Christmas trees. This is the word one I used for all of them. Here's that other tree one. So here's a Christmas plaid and some ornaments. So those are the papers from the pad. And here are the two pieces for the card. Your base is going to be four and a quarter by eight and a half. And then your little fold out insert is going to be three and a quarter by eight and a half. So the three and a quarter we're going to score at four and a quarter right in half. Just like that. And then our four and a quarter we're going to score it at three. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay, so we're just going to fold these. And give them a good crease. And we'll do this one. So there we have our two pieces. So we're going to take our base piece and start. putting our papers on. Okay, so my back panel is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. That's just gonna go right there on the back. We just center this on the back. Just like that. And then we take our little word piece, which is two and seven eighths oops, by four and one eighth. And that will go just inside our little panel here. Here on the inside, and we just center that one. So now we'll do our outside, which is the same size, two and seven eighths. I can grab it by four and one eighth. center this one on just like so so now we have the base done we're going to take our little insert piece here and go ahead and attach these papers so on the inside right panel I have my little Christmas tree piece that matches the back and this is Three, this is four and one eighth by three and one eighth. And like I've said in the previous videos, you can cut your little 
papers to whatever size you want depending on the border width that you want around it. I just like the 1 8 inch. But for my little message piece I do I cut it down a quarter of an inch smaller. I just like the way that it looks. So this is a 4x3 piece of just plain white cardstock. So we just set that on this side. Like that. And then our outside panel is going to be these little ornaments. And it is also cut at 4 and 1 8 by 3 and 1 8. And so we just attach this to the outside. Just like that. So we're going to flip this over and we're going to put our score tape. And I'm just using quarter inch scrappy tape. Just like that. Give that a good push. And now we're going to go ahead and Peel off this last one here, the one that is closest to your fold. And this just helps be able to maneuver this piece around, so however you really want to attach it is fine. That's just how I do it. And then once it's pretty centered, um, just go ahead and press that down. And then we'll go ahead and peel off the other two strips here. If I can get them to come off. <laughs> there we go. Then you just press that down. So there we have the basics of our Joyfold card. Okay, now we're going to work on our sentiment, which I am using the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set again. And I'm going to use the Merry Christmas up here. So this is what the set looks like. And I've already got it mounted on my block. This is the G block from Stampin' Up. Perfect for these little sentiments. And this time I'm going to use real red. Um, just because I don't have a memento red that is quite as red. So there we have our sentiment. And I'm going to use the word window punch to go ahead and punch this out. So just like that. And then I'm going to use the modern label punch, which is retired. And just punch a piece of black. Take our rhinestones. These are the basic jewels from Stampin' Up. I'm using this top size here, just these small ones. There we have our little jewels. I'm going to go ahead and attach our sentiment. Excuse my dog. Okay, so we're just going to center this. Shh, 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 shh. 
Okay, so there we have our little sentiment that says Merry Christmas. So we're going to flip this over and add our dimensionals. And I just take two of them and cut them in half to give me the four pieces I need. just like that. We're going to go ahead and add this to the front. You want to make sure that you don't get your little foamy adhesives stuck down on your piece here. So just like that. And now we're going to add our Mickey and Minnie. Grab two Mickey heads. And you just want to place these. I mean, you can place these however you want, really, but I like to just center them. And take my zig to a glue here. Go ahead and glue my Mickey heads down. This one down. There we have two Mickeyettes, which one we will turn into Minnie Mouse. So I have already cut and tied my little bow. It's just some green eyelet ribbon from Michaels. I think I've pretty much bought every single color that they have. I just really, really like this ribbon. It can be cute, it can be pretty, you know, with the little eyelets on it. So we're just gonna stick this right in the middle of the Mickey head and turn this into Minnie Mouse. Just like so. Now we have Mickey and Minnie. So on the inside, I'm going to use one of my Itty Bitties, um, again another retired stamp set, and I'm going to use the little ornament right there, and for this I'm going to stamp it in some Memento Cottage Ivy. So just open that up and stamp it right here in this little corner, and you could stamp these any, if you have little stamps, you can stamp them all around, you can stamp them wherever you want. There's no right or wrong. I'm just basically showing you how to put the card together and you know you can kind of do what you want from there. So there's my little ornament and that completes the very last Mickey and Minnie Joyfold card for this series. So I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys had fun following along. I've had a lot of fun making these and I can't wait to do next year's series. So um, that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!